Okay, we're going to find the slope of the tangent line to the function f of x equals x squared using the limit process. And this is the general equation for the slope of the tangent line. So my function x squared, my limit, as delta x approaches 0 of x plus delta x squared minus x squared all over delta x. Follow what I did so far. What's that, Mr. Sal? Beautiful. So what did I do, though? Let's just make sure what I did. I'm following this equation. So I took x plus delta x and plugged it in for x. I subtracted f of x from that, and I'm dividing by delta x. I'm finding the slope of the tangent line. Now, I need to FOIL this out. And this is going to be a common thing in these kinds of problems. You might even have a function where this is cubed. So let's just for a second imagine what we're going to have to do if x is cubed. You're going to end up with an x plus delta x cubed. Remember, in the back of your book is a page that has that FOILed out for you. So you don't need to crank through it by hand. You can pull that up out of the back of your book. Or you can enjoy yourself and crank out x plus delta x cubed by hand if you want. So now we need to FOIL this. Do not drop your limit notation. x plus delta x squared is going to be x squared plus 2x delta x plus delta x squared. And we got to subtract off of that x squared. And all of that is divided by delta x. With me so far? OK? Now, at this stage, all of the non-delta x terms should disappear if you did this correctly. x squared minus x squared, 0. And I only have left delta x terms. And that's what should happen when we're at this stage. We should only have terms with delta x left. What else can I do? I can cross off that, that, and one of those, right? So I've boiled this down to the limit as delta x approaches 0 of 2x plus delta x. Can I now do direct substitution of delta x into my equation of 0? And what is then my limit as delta x approaches 0 of 2x plus delta x? 2x. Nope, just stop right there. We have just found out that the slope of the tangent line to the function x squared is 2x. Now you're probably saying, well, wait a minute. How can the slope be 2x? Slope should be a number, right? Let's think about our function that is the parabola. Does the parabola have constant slope? No. That the parabola's slope is always changing. It depends on what the x value is that tells you the slope. What do I mean by that? Here is my parabola f of x equals x squared. And what we just figured out, that my slope at any tangent point, OK? My slope at anywhere on this thing is defined by the equation 2x. So if I want to know, for example, what's the slope of the tangent line at x equals 0? I just drew it here. What is the slope of the tangent line at x equals 0? Zero, we can see it. But if I put zero in for x here, it tells me the slope of the tangent line is zero. What's the slope of the tangent line at x equals one? Two, and the, so the slope of this line right here at the tangent of x equals one, the slope is two. What if I'm up here, let's say, at x equals two? What's the slope of this line? Four, and does that make sense? As we go out on the parabola, what's happening with the slope of that tangent line? 
it's getting steeper and steeper based on that x value. How about if I'm way over here at negative 10 on x? What's the slope of the tangent line at x equals negative 10? And does that make sense? Would this slope be negative over here? Yeah, it would be. So what this process does is it calculates, or we, we calculate, we figure out an equation that tells you the slope for some given x value. But the general answer is the slope of the tangent line anywhere for a parabola is 2x.